So everybody, a little update on the TSX. Um, have it torn apart now because head gasket blew up on the way home from San Diego. <laughs> Fuck me. Too long ago, so tearing it down and just gonna replace everything that I can while I see it out. Um, and while it's up in the air, decided I'm going to replace the inner and outer tie rods because these are pretty old. Uh, I'll show you the old ones. I'm gonna have to remove my lower control arm and get the sway bar out of the way to get to get that inner out. So that's that's next on my list. Uh, so the head's pulled off. The one side of the outer rods is out. So these are the this is the old rod. See it's pretty beat up. The boot, just gotta clean that up. And then this is the new tie rod we'll be putting in. The new inner. Uh, this is the cylinder head, so my buddy Jaren's gonna come over and we're gonna have uh, him drop it off at the machine shop. I'm gonna give it a quick little resurface, get this nice and flat, and we'll put it back together with a new, new head gasket. Um, other than that, the car is pretty much the same. Uh, no updates to the suspension. I'm still running the Eibach R2 coilovers that were made for this car. Um, we've got the model ball compliance bearings in the front. Um, we've got the Eibach end links on the front sway bar here. I'm running the hard race front upper camber kit. And then towards the back, um, we've got the <clears throat> True Heart model ball uh, rear camber kit. And then obviously the, the, the arms I make out of race prep garage, these are the model ball arms that I do. So there's a bearing here, a bearing here, and then on this arm here, also a bearing, and also a bearing. So we got all that taken care of, and then this is the Eibach rear end link I have for the sway bar, along with the TL Type S rear sway bar. And again, another shot of the Eibach R2 coilovers. Uh, you can see the reservoir line that's gonna go up into the cabin and in the trunk. But yeah, car still looking kind of the same. It's got all the Euro R stuff. Um, for those that don't know, it's I swapped the roof, so there's no more sunroof on this car. The interior is kind of a mess with some parts. I do have some more upgrades to do, like replacing uh, these strips here with the OEM Honda 3M strips. So that's on the dash there, along with the moldings for the quarter windows. So these aren't too bad, but you can see there's kind of some chipping up around here. So I'm just going to replace these with factory ones since they're still available. I mean, it makes the most sense. So yeah, other than that, I'll keep you guys posted on all the updates and um, we'll go from there. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, the head's still off the car. We have the head back from the machine shop, which my friend Jaron was kind enough to take down to the shop for me and pick up. So freshly resurfaced, kind of just getting the prep work here, installing the uh, VTEC solenoid back on, but we've got a new head gasket, new oil filter, kind of just cleaning up all the parts here. Um, gonna put the water neck back on and then well, should be ready to bolt the head on here pretty soon. The car is on the ground now, um, but I did get the new inner and outer tie rods in. So um, once we get the head on, uh, we'll get the car back up in the air, get the wheels off, and then we'll take a look at those uh, shortly here. Just wanted to add one more thing. Most of this work has been mostly just clean up, like just, making sure that everything here, the mating surface is gonna be nice and clean. I still gotta clean up the oil pan here a little bit before I put the, uh, the timing cover back on. But little things like, you know, the frame rail, the subframe, um, I like to keep the engine bay clean. That way, if something were to leak or something were to go wrong, I kinda know where to start looking. So, just another thought. Okay, we're back. We've got the head on. Sorry, I didn't video that. Uh, the head's torqued down though. Um, I'm putting in these new 06 TSX cams. Uh, I've already swapped over the RBC VTC gear on the intake side, so that's good to go. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get this thing back together. So we're gonna do some pre lobe on the cams just to kind of make sure these things are not gonna turn over dry when we get started here. Come on. Oh, I gotta open this thing. There we go. This little bead. I don't 
don't get too much. You don't want to get any in the uh, the threaded holes for the cam caps. Just enough to get these journals and cam lobes lubed up for the first startup. Let's get these cam caps torqued down. Okay, we got the, uh, we're gonna get the, the cam chain on. Um, I've got the motor to TDC and cams are locked. I'm using a drill bit to lock this exhaust cam over here. I've got a punch that was the right size and then this kind of helps me get, it, get them aligned up. Nice, so yeah, I'm gonna set the camera here and, uh, and get this chain lined up with the gold chinks, lined up with the cam timing marks on top and uh, the one on the crank. Uh, down here at the bottom Okay, here we are moment of truth the car is back together um, Wasn't gonna bore you guys with me putting everything back together, but um, Put the cams in did a valve adjustment uh, all new gaskets and seals and um, Leaving this open so we can bleed out the coolant so uh, So yeah, let's see if this thing starts